Now, KGUN 9 on your side weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Welcome back. We give you a look at those current conditions right now. Humidity 20%. Wind is fairly light from the south southeast, just eight miles per hour. Clear skies at 64 degrees. Now, all of those numbers that I just rattled off to you are going to be changing big time by the end of the work week into the weekend. What if I told you that the 64 degrees we're feeling right now is actually four degrees warmer from what our high temps will be? By the end of the weekend, you'd look at me and say, Aaron, you're crazy, right? Uh uh, I'm tracking the storm system that is going to drop our temps big time. Right now, uh, overnight, those clear skies will continue for us. 53 degrees, our overnight low. Come tomorrow, though, near record heat will be just a degree or two shy of tying the record for our election day with 90 degrees, mostly sunny skies. We'll talk more about that election day heat as well as that storm system that promises a big cool down and even a chance for valley rain and mountain snow. You heard me right, mountain snow. Our temps right now in the 30s in Sholo, 37. 50s, though, for Safford and Wilcox, 61, Oracle, 64 at this hour in Tucson. That is down after our high of 89 degrees today. Temperatures have been running a good 10 to 15 degrees above normal readings across southern Arizona for a couple of days now. 88 degrees in Casa Grande, that 89 in Tucson, but 82 in Wilcox. Now, our temps overnight are going to cool off. We'll be in the 50s, 60s in some cases, even a few 30s kind of sprinkled in. 35 for Wilcox, 39 overnight in Safford, 43 Benson, 40 in Douglas, 52 for you in Casa Grande, though. And then tomorrow, jumping back to the 80s and 90s. 81 Oracle, Wilcox at 85, 91 for Casa Grande, Oro Valley, Pretty darn close to 90 there as well with 89 in both Oro Valley as well as Green Valley. But I hope you are ready for a big change because we are tracking a storm system right now in the Gulf of Alaska that's going to bring some strong winds, valley rain, perhaps even the first snowfall in the mountains for southern Arizona. When you look at the West Coast sat right here, clearly we've got something going on across California, Nevada, Arizona, right? Those clouds being forced up and over that very strong, dominant, stubborn ridge of high pressure, which has been responsible for our near record heat the past couple of days. But what you can't see in that shot is a storm system that is just kind of sitting and spinning in the Gulf of Alaska, kind of gaining some steam right now. And by Thursday, it will find itself just off the coast of the Pacific Northwest. Our temps will still be kind of warm here, but then as it drops its way down the West Coast, that cold front will swing through the four corners Friday and Saturday. This is what I'm calling the game changer because first we'll have the wind, then on the backside of that cold front, significantly cooler air. Watch what happens to our temps here. We'll go from 85 on Thursday to 78 on Friday, which is our norm, drop down to a high of just 62 on Saturday and then 60 come Sunday. So we are talking over a 20 degree drop in temperatures as we make our way from Thursday afternoon into Saturday afternoon. So in about 48 hours time and likely going to have our first snowfall of the season Friday night into Saturday morning. That is when our temps are going to drop off the most and we have the highest potential for rain here in the valley and snow in the mountains. So I hope you guys are ready for some significant changes in the weather department. Oh uh, yes, variety. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny was doing her happy dance earlier. <laughs> I think Guy needs to do a happy dance. I'll work on it. Okay. Thank you.